Uh, go. Okay, so uh, welcome to Series Strength, and I'm going to be giving you an example of what we do here uh, for the Strong Kids Healthy Kids program. I'm going to be teaching my daughter Georgia, and also after Georgia, you'll see my daughter Amber uh, performing the exercises that we typically do here. And it will be what you'll see is a total body workout. And what I mean by that is that we're going to be strengthening the muscles of her upper body and the muscles of her lower body uh, in one training session. And that's typically what we do with the kids here uh, at Serious Strength. What you're also going to see is what, uh, the technique that we use, which we call the slow burn system of training. And you'll notice that when they're performing the exercises, they're moving very slowly and under control. So they're not, you're not going to see them flinging the weights around in a dangerous manner. So this first exercise is called the front grip pull down. And this exercise is going to be strengthening the muscles of her arms, her back, her chest, and her abdominals. And what we do is we keep very accurate records of all of the exercises that they do, the weights that they use, so that from session to session, we know exactly uh, how to increase their resistances or, or, or not to, and so that the seat settings are always the same. So whether I instruct one of the kids or some of the other instructors instruct the kids, we know exactly where to place them and exactly the right weights to use. Okay, are you ready? All right, so let's bring your hands up. Okay. All right, now remember, I want to start it nice and slowly, okay? All right, easy does it. Good. Now what you'll also see is that she's breathing very freely throughout the exercise. Okay, nice and slowly now. squeeze here. Now very, very slow on the way up. And ideally, what she's going to do is work until her muscles are as completely fatigued as she can make them. Very nice. Now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm timing the time she spends in the exercise. Okay, slow it down. Now. Now that's good. And again, give her a little squeeze in the arms here. Get as slowly as you can. That's very good. So she's been in the machine now. Try again that one. For exactly one minute. And we want to see the kids contract their muscles strongly from between one and two minutes. That's the time frame that is most beneficial. Okay, give it another try. Doing good. Doing great. Breathing, breathing, breathing. If you can, you can. If you can't, you can't. Either way, it's okay. Good. And rest gently. Very nice. Feel okay? Yeah. All right. So as you can see, she did that in a very, very slow and controlled manner. She spent exactly, although you really can't see it from the camera, a minute and 23 seconds in the machine. And last time she did this exercise, so we marked down that she did a minute 23 in the machine. And last time she did this exercise, she did the exercise for a minute 16. So that means she made an improvement this time in the time and also in the weight. Two pounds more in the weight as she did from the last time. Okay, so go ahead and unbuckle. All right, and Amber, it's your turn. Come on down, as Bob Barker said. All right, jump on in. Can you get up there? Okay, now Amber is younger and she's smaller. So the, resistant that sh the resistance that she's going to use is going to be lighter. And also the settings are going to be adjusted so that the handles come down a little lower. So now, okay, Amber, so we're going to do 70 pounds, which is fantastic. Okay. I'll go ahead and reach up and grab the handles. Okay, i got to bring it down one more for you. Sorry, man. Okay, hands look good. Okay, are you ready? All right. Nice and slow now. Good. Now remember, when you touch your chest, squeeze your arms strongly. Beautiful. And nice and slow. That's excellent. Notice also that she's breathing freely. She's 
showing very good control, body control over the resistance. Very nice. Now again, when you get there, give it a nice strong squeeze. Now one of the interesting things is sometimes it appears that the work that the kids are doing is easy because she's showing such good control, as did Georgia. But I guarantee you, if you were to be in her shoes, you would feel that this is not easy at all. It's actually quite challenging physical work. Good. And give a little squeeze. Very nice. Now, Amber has now been contracting her muscles for one full minute. Now let's give it another try. Think you can do it? All right, give it a try. Excellent. Very good. Now let's squeeze again. Now again, nice and slow on the way up. Now last time, Amber did a minute 14. This is two pounds heavy. And she's now at a minute 25. You're doing better, which is great. Stronger than last time you came. Very nice. Nice and slowly on the way up. Now, since you completed that, well, give it another try. Good breathing. Very nice. Perfect form. Nice and slow on the way up. Okay, now one last one. Ready? Very good. And give a squeeze. Okay, slowly on the way up. Now this time when it touches down, you will rest gently. Okay, very good, excellent. Now what you saw there was the fact that even though I had made the weight a little heavier, I actually, she's gotten stronger than the amount of weight that I could have given her. In other words, I could have given her a little bit more weight than I gave her. That was very good. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the next exercise. And this exercise is going to work the muscles of the chest, the, the, actually the opposite side, the chest and the back of the arms. So, Georgia. Now, first we're going to set up the machine and get your settings set. Okay. Okay, and hop in. Now, this is called the chest press, very similar to a bench press exercise. Bring your hands in. Okay. All right. So hands a little wider and the elbows up a little high. Okay. And you're just looking straight ahead. Okay. Okay. Nice and slowly. When you're in. Easy, easy. Good. And breathing through. And again, you'll notice the nice slow control movement. Okay. Slowly on the way down. Very good. Now on this machine, uh, Georgia is doing two pounds more than she did the last time. Okay, and the last time she did this, she was able to complete 65 seconds worth of work. She's now at 35 seconds, so she's halfway home. And slowly. Now, if you notice, if you notice a little bit of shaking in the limbs, that's totally normal and totally okay. It just means she's working her muscles hard and she's tapping very deeply into the muscle fibers, which is what we want. Good. Now you're almost there, Georgia. And there you go. That's a minute five. Okay, let's put a little icing on the cake, shall we? If you think it's possible, if you can do it, try. Nice and strong. And as you can see, she's getting to the point where her muscles are about completely fatigued. Good. And rest. Very nice. So that was a minute 28, which means once again, she not only did she make an improvement in the weight she was using, but also an improvement in the time that she spent, which means that she has indeed gotten stronger. 
Okay, very nice. All right, Amber, you're up to bat. All right, can you hop in? There you go. All right, and on top. Okay, now once again, because Amber's younger and smaller, she's going to need to use a higher seat setting, as you saw, and she's going to need to use a lighter weight. Okay. So Amber, last time you did this exercise, you did uh, 20 pounds, and now we're going to do 22. <coughs> Bring your hands in a second, honey, to your lap. Yeah. Okay, so your hands are going to go right here. Elbows are going to be high. Oops, I think I put a one, two, three. All right, feel ready? All right, give it a try. Nice and strong. Push it all the way to where these touch and breathe. Good, and slowly down. Okay. Push strong. There you go, all the way out. The last time Amber did this, she did it for 71 seconds. So we're going to see if she can get to 71 seconds or so today. And keep the elbows up high. That's good. good. Now your breathing is good. Yeah, try again. Yeah, it's okay to push strong. Very good. Squeeze. Now nice and slow. Now you're almost at a minute now. So if you do one more, you'll be in the ballpark. Head straight. There you go. Beautiful. <laughs> You're getting there, right? Okay, nice and slow. Now, since you completed that one, I don't know, I think you should try one more. Okay, very good. That was excellent. So there, a minute 37. So not only did she beat the weight, but she beat the time, so we know that she was strong. All right, very good. Come on up. All right, excellent. Okay, now we're going to head down and strengthen the muscles of her legs. Other oh, legs. Follow me. Okay, come over here. Let's see what we got. Good. Okay. Now this is uh, this machine is called the leg press, and this machine is going to strengthen all of the muscles of the lower body, from the, the back of the thighs, front of the thighs, and the hips. This way the camera so you can see her a little cl more closely. All right, so very slowly now, just like you did the other ones. Begin nice and easy, no rush. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Very good, and nice and slow on the way down. Now on this one, the last time Georgia did this exercise, she did 70 seconds, and so I've made it two pounds heavier. might not seem like a lot 
fact, two pound increases may sound like it's so little, it's almost silly. But if you think about it, if they train once or twice a week and you add two pounds each time they train, which we usually can, at the end of a, a year, that is a significant increase in the, in the strength that they obtain. Now remember we said 70 seconds last time and she's now at 60 seconds. Very good. The breathing is excellent. Nice and slow as you come down now. 70 seconds. Coming up on 80 seconds now. This is very good improvement. Now you can see she's breathing heavier. At this point, it's very cardiovascular. Mm -hmm. All right, nicely done. 93 seconds. Again, great improvement both time and weight. Okay. Very nice. All right, now Amber, it's your turn. Okay, so your settings, of course, are a little different. We have to go a little lower for you. And the weight has to come down a little bit. Okay, hop on in, Amber. Okay, now this will be the last exercise we do for this video. Um, generally speaking, we will do between five and six exercises for the children. Uh, but just for purposes, not to make the video too long, this will be the last exercise we do. Ready? All right. Feet up on the platform. A little lower, all the way at the bottom. There you go. Okay. Okay, are we ready, Amber? Now, last time you did three minutes, which means the weight was very light for you. So I've made it, uh, this time, four pounds heavier, okay? okay. All right. All right. Nice and easy. Push it all the way out there. You'll feel it touch and nice and slow back. Very good. And one of the reasons why we don't allow the kids to move quickly is because if they do, they create and generate a lot of force, and it's possible that they can generate too much force and potentially hurt their joints. The most important thing is that we encourage the children to get to the point where their muscles are as deeply fatigued as possible, because the deeper you fatigue the muscles, the better the muscles are stimulated to grow stronger. Okay? And you're now at 50 seconds, Amber. Now today, because you, you had gone so long last time, we're not expecting you to go to three minutes, okay? Just work until you feel like your muscles are totally tired. Okay. Very nice. Now remember, try to push with your heels more than with your toes, okay? Okay. Nice and slowly. That's almost, that's 80 seconds. Very good. Now let's give it one more try. How do you feel? Yeah? And see your knees? See if you can keep them closer together. That's better. It's getting hard now, right? Is it? Let's do one more and then we're done, all right? Okay, good. And your breathing is good. Nice and slowly back. Okay, I can see your legs are shaking. All right, now rest when you come to the bar. All right, that's very, very good. All right, let me get you out of here. All right, very nice. Okay, why don't you stand by your sister? Mom will have you take a bow. <laughs> All right, very good. And that's, that's uh, three exercises in the Strong Kids Healthy Kids program. Thanks very much.